Welcome back. We are in Kansas City at the National Association of Farm Broadcasting Convention. We talk and have talked over the years many times with Mike Stegman. We, you know we talk about Agritain. Well, there have been a lot of changes this year uh, with Agritain, and I uh, want to talk about that now as Mike joins us here in Kansas City. Good to talk with you again. It has been an eventful year for your company. Yeah, it has. It's been a very good year, and we've got a lot of exciting things going on that we're working on. Okay, now let's kind of... Take us through how all this happened. Agritain was purchased by Coke Agronomic Services, right? Yes, that's correct. And just for for everybody, um, Agritain Nitrogen Stabilizer is a product that we've been selling on, as Agritain International for about 10 years. And it is a product that's used with urea and UAN fertilizer to stop volatility. And growers today are always looking for ways that they can manage nitrogen better, uh, do a better job in their operation. And Agritain has been one of those things that they've used with, with great success. And as we've gone along, the business has grown nicely, and we began talking with uh, Coke Agronomic Services about some things we could do together to take this business to the next level. And as those talks went on, it just ended up being acquisition talks at the end of the day, and that's, that's how we ended up. So where does that stand? Where does it all stand now, and what does it mean for users of the product? Well, I think that's maybe really the best question. Where it stands right now is uh, this is a project we worked on for about a year. The deal closed in, uh, at the end of September, and today we officially go forward as part of Coke Agronomic Services. The Agritain products and the Agritain brands will still be in the marketplace, and I think customers really won't see much in the way of difference in terms of who they dealt with in the past, what the products are like, how they work. I think they'll see that to be seamless. What they are going to like, though, is the degree of advancement that can be brought to this whole segment. I think that, that we as an industry have really done a great job of managing nitrogen and managing our fertilizer using the tools that we've had available. But what we know today is there's, there are new tools and there's new things we think we can develop. And putting Agritain and Coke Agronomic Services together, I think are going to create this opportunity to really bring tools to growers that they can make good use of in the future. There has been a lot of advancement, and it sounds like, listening to you talk, that you feel that the, there's more advancement to come then. Yeah, we're, we're really very passionate about uh, this whole category of nitrogen stabilizers and, and fertilizer use efficiency, and we think that there's a long, long way to go, and that's what we do every day. We get up every morning thinking about how can we make fertilizer more efficient, and the result of that for the grower, obviously, is is he's buying very expensive fertilizer. Let's make sure we get it to the crop. But it goes beyond that. It, some of these products can affect the way he manages his operation, when he does his fertilize, fertilization, what technique he uses that can affect how, how many acres he gets across, how fast, what his costs are. There's lots of ways that we can work with fertilizer technology to make a grower be more efficient in his own operation. Not that that wasn't important before, because it was, but now there's heightened scrutiny on the efficiency because of the input costs and the commodity price. Yeah, I think one thing that everybody can agree on is that that when we use nitrogen fertilizer, it's essential to, to produce the yields that we need to feed the world. Big goal, something we've got to do. But there are ways that we can manage this um, better with the tools that we've got today. Agritain Nitrogen Stabilizer is one of those things. And what's really exciting is some of the things that are being uh, thought about and worked on that are going to be available to growers in the future. We can't afford to use uh, high price fertilizers, be inefficient with those, lose out on yield, when it's uh, particularly when commodities are at the prices they are today and at the end of the day we've got a responsibility to do the best job we can with our nitrogen uh, uh, input uh, do dollars and and our practices and that's what uh, Agritain brings to growers and how do you quantify it how, what, what does your research and field trials and everything and user results show the difference in in yields using uh, this technology for their uh, you know uh, nitrogen stabilization and, and getting that maximum efficiency? Well, I think that's a really great question. I think it's important that the growers should consult their own local universities and ask them about the, 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 the products that they work with and the kinds of results they get and get some advice from a third party. But I can tell you that, that with many, many trials that we've done, and they're always highly variable because there's so many conditions, but the yield increase 
across any crop more than covers the cost of the agritain. In fact, over wheat trials and corn trials, rice is a big market for us. The yield increases are always very substantial and usually three to four and sometimes even more times the cost of the of the agritain. Which is the bottom line. That's what the grower is going to look at. If I spend this much, how much more am I going to get? Yeah, I think it's really misleading for anybody to say, you use my product and you're going to get three bushel increase. If somebody's telling you that, they're probably uh, not steering you directly because trials are variable, but trial after trial after trial, hundreds and even thousands of trials, very consistently, uh, Agritain produces yield increases that uh, cover the cost of Agritain by several fold. And what's really important is, is, it, is that the university researchers who work with these products and understand the agronomy probably better than anybody strongly endorse the use of, of the product. Yeah, we've talked with them over the last few months, and you're right, that, that is that, like that third party verification, isn't it? It, it, it is, and that's where we where we do an awful lot of our work. We do work with uh, universities, um, a lot of land grant universities, but universities around the world, and of course around the U.S. And um, we let them uh, do their work and tell their story, and uh, the results speak for themselves. We're talking with Mike Stegman about uh, Agritain Stabilizer. Now, you know, been acquired by Coca Agronomic Services. What? does that bring that acquisition now bring or add to what can be offered to uh, producers well, one of the things that we looked at is we were considering this this acquisition and and uh, this was a very difficult decision for our family and and for for our company to do this but we made the decision um, obviously, we, we decided it was a good financial decision for us, but it was more than just that. We wanted to make sure that, that the employees that worked in our organization had the opportunity to take their careers forward, and, and, and that's going to happen. And maybe the single biggest thing is the, some of the research and development capabilities that can come, because we know there's things beyond Agritain. We've already got ideas and have done work, and we know there's things that are beyond Agritain, but our small company company would have taken a very long time to, to realize those uh, new products. And I think with Agritain now working with Coke Agronomic Services, the combination is going to mean for growers a lot of very interesting new products and new tools they can use. And our job at the end of the day is to not only deliver the products that, that are useful to growers, but teach them how to use them properly and, and when to use them and when not to use them. And I think that's one of the things that we're going to see out of this combination is new products and, all, and a much higher level of education and assistance in using these products properly. You know, there's so much talk, as you mentioned it earlier, this increase in world population, the challenge of, of feeding the world. Um, a lot of talk, too, about how do we increase yields even more, you know, how do we break some of the ceilings that seem to be there. I mean, what we're talking about here is another uh, step towards that, to increasing the yields, increasing that production, which helps us then feed that world population. You know, that's exactly right. And and uh, the advances we're going to make in yield are going to come from a lot of places. They're going to come from virtually every sector of the, of the input uh, uh, cycle. But as part of the fertilizer industry, I think we've got a responsibility to do the things we can do to, to improve our products, to teach people how to use those products better. And, uh, and that's what we see with the Agritain nitrogen stabilizer and some of the new things that are coming, is the fertilizer industry doing its part and doing everything it can to contribute to this, to this uh, need to increase yield. You know, you work closely with the Fred Belos and some of these researchers, and they talk about the yields that are possible out you know they 300 and plus you know above yields in corn and you know that that sounds almost uh, hard to believe but when and he's talking about products like agritain being a part of getting to those kind of yields yeah, you know, we're not going to get 300 bushel corn off every acre, every place, but it is absolutely possible. And there's a lot of variables that affect this. And and in Fred Bilo at the University of Illinois' work, um, he obviously cites weather as being one of those uh, big uh, big contributors. Uh, that's a given, but he also takes a look at nitrogen fertilizer and thinks that that's one of the most important things that affect affect uh, yield. And what we do with Agritain nitrogen stabilizer is make sure that the nitrogen we apply is available for the crop, and that's really what it's all about. We can put the nitrogen on. We can we can we can figure out the right amounts and the right placement of it. We just got to make sure it stays in place and gets to that crop. 
we keep hearing too about you know the importance of getting these crops off to a good start we try to plant earlier all the time uh, and we keep hearing if that crop doesn't get off to a good start it may not recover you may not be able to make that up later in the year so you got to get a good healthy strong plant going we know we've seen what happens if you lose that nitrogen you don't get that good start and you don't recover that's right, and you know weather is such a big uh, a factor in in what happens to the nitrogen. The fate of the nitrogen is it a dry year? Is it a wet year? It's it's easy to look out the window and 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 make a make a prediction, but you know we're all wrong as much as we're right. And at the end of the day, we've got to take the the steps to be sure that when we make that nitrogen application, that we've done what we need to do. So whether it's wet or whether it's dry, whether it's on the surface or whether it's incorporated, that that nitrogen and stays in place for that crop. That is the most critical thing, and for just pennies a pound, Agritain makes that happen. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Mike Stegman joining us. Again, Agritain Stabilizer that's been purchased by Coke Agronomic Services, and again, a very important product when we're talking about nitrogen stabilization, efficient use of, of nitrogen. All right, coming up next, lots of questions in Washington, D.C. What's going to happen from the Super Committee? What about ag spending cuts? How is this going to impact the next farm bill? What kind of safety net are we going to wind up with? All these questions that are out there, we're still waiting for answers. We're going to try to sort through some of that with Mary Kay Thatcher with the American Farm Bureau Federation. That's coming up next. Stay with us. This is AgriTalk.